Welcome back. The second row is an easy one. Um, it states back of your work, row 2A, main color, AC to the back. So it means we needed to turn your work after this. You turn your work, make sure this doesn't get too much in a, a knot, but you have only two colors so you can manage. You put, turn your work. This is the back of your work. This is the top, that's the bottom. That's why I have my stitch markers. We continue with the main color. My main color is pink at the moment. Of course, you can take any color you like. I like this hard fuchsia pink. I really do love it. You get your loop. It states um, main color and it says accent color or alternate color at the back. It means the accent color is at the back of your work. So not in front, then you get a different one. No, it's at the back of your work, so it's here. So I will take my yarn, make the tension on it. I always do it like this. Of course, everybody has its own technique. Technique. It states two, one side stitch, one back, two to twenty-two in the front, one back, and a side stitch. The side stitch I already made in the end. It's my four chain. So that's already done. So I do yarn over and one in the back. One in the back means behind my work, there is the first crochet. We go in the back. So this is the back of your work. Now, this of course is the back of your work, but it's behind the work you're facing now. So this is the back of your work now because we work from this part. So we go into the back of your work, find the loop, between the posts, take the two loops here, take those two loops, yarn through, and double crochet. Now we say 22 fronts, so we're going to work in the front of your work. We're not going through this, we're going through the window here. Find your loop, see, get both both loops pull it back and we do one double crochet now we start interlocking now we start the fun see it looks like this back of your work now and this in the front facing you another front yarn over go through those two posts and the horizontal post find those double loops pull it backwards Yarn over, pull, 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 and kijk. See, that's why I thought it that this hook needle was that this hook was better than average, but it's a little bit average. Maybe I bought the wrong one. If you have any suggestion for a hook, you say, "Oh, I love this." Never, never uh, miss miss a stitch. Let me know. I'm so interested. So here we go. Number three. Find your double loop there not one double see i got it now don't crochet here don't do the yarn don't do it here now pull the loop back to the front of your work pull the not back to the front pull the loop to the front of your work and double crochet and again find it oops see that is my i don't know if it or it's my technique. It could be my technique. I mean, I only started a year ago, but I did already a lot of blankets. I love making blankets, but for now we do this because to get a blanket instruction would be almost impossible. But I could do the few rows, the first few rows. See, going on. This is normal interlocking. There's no color change. There is no... Um, um filled in blocks or um solid stitches this is simple interlocking crochet and it's great if you are a beginner this pattern it's not massively difficult it doesn't switch that much but it learns you the basic of interlocking crochet in a fairly easy way and i hope my written patterns are easy to read if you have any complaints any comments just let me know i'm here for you all 
and for my own pleasure. Because I love doing this. It brings me in a certain mood. And here we continue. 22 in the front. Here it comes. 22 in the front. Let me see if I'm still taping. I hope I have enough spot on my phone to get all these uh, videos done. As you see, I'm not... Uh, I didn't follow any 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 course in making videos and films and professional films on YouTube or whatever. It's just my own uh, direction and my own lightning daylight. And I put a light pillow on my lap so you can see the contrast of the work better. So my legs don't uh, disturb you. <laughs> Disturb you? How? What a weird sentence. Most of the time, I watch television while I do this. I can miss a stitch, but I always look television with half an eye, or like listening to the radio. I don't know what you do during crochet. Let me tell me. You're watching television, writing a book. Oh, audio books are nice too, but they distract me more than television audio books. I get lost in the story, then I don't know. Forget to count. Okay, twenty-two. In the front, let me count. I think I have 22 in the front. Let me count. Uh, ding. 20, 22, yes. Then now, one in the back. You see? Now we're in the back. I will do it again. It went too fast. You go behind your work. Got the two loops. Not one. Both loops. Got one only. Come on, baby. Come on, little loopy. Where are you? Oh! Of course, I did this stitch. Wait. Yeah, I got both loops. You pull it through the other work. That is the interlocking part. I hope I stay in the center. Got it behind the work. Now, see? Pull it to the back. Yarn over now to pull through those two loops, make your double crochet, chain one, and your side stitch on the end, which is just a double crochet in the end. You can chain it into the chain, but I just leave it there because I'm going to make a border. And four already for my side stitch of the next one. One, two, three, four. Yes, I got them. Then I secure my work. And I'm going to do row. Let me see. I need to open my program. It's always on my tablet on the side. Um, I need to do, and I and it, I I mark where I am in my work. I scratch. Uh, uh, let me see if I can show it to you here. It's a little bit difficult. See, I'm going to mark where I am. That's the pattern. Let me put a video back. It's not that easy. Oh. A pro studio really okay here I am back uh, so you see uh, we are now we've done it I don't see turn my work so we stay on this side um, it says back of your work still so we are there uh, accent color or alternate color and it's row 2b I get my yarn and it says Inside side stitch. See, I almost have it upside down. And I'm turning here and tossing. And did I do something wrong? No, I have it upside down. See, that's the problem of your work. You can have it upside down. I had it upside down. So find your work. Make sure you have it like this. This is the top. This is the bottom. It's handy to mark it with a stitch mark. I didn't do that or struggling to find it, especially beginning. Only in the beginning you have that, not in the row 20 or 22. And it says back of work. It said ESB. It means inside side in the back. Inside side stitch at the back. There it is at your back. And you see back of your work so what your face is and it says 23 stitches in the back that's what we're going to do 23 to b so 23 b means we're going behind your work get an x loop 
get those two and get a double crochet and add one we're going to do this full row and there we go this is a simple row still i need to make some way with my yarn hope i didn't change the video camera my phone and while i was crocheting people asked to join my group i'm very happy if you want to join i'm open for any suggestion any question you say i don't know how to do this a video tutorial sometimes says more than 100 words uh, but you stay you see i stay in my work and now because i do 23 back it looks like it's not interlocking you know you get the pink in the front and the gray in the back but it will in the end sometimes you have pockets that means your colors do not mix or mash up they stay two separate sheets all all the time in the end you're going to join it together and you will see it has a lovely result. I love geometrical patterns because it always surprises me that you design a front but the back is as nice as the front. This one won't be here. We're making four little hearts uh, on a pot holder. If you want to make it a pot holder, you can make it a coaster, you can make one heart, um, you can repeat the pattern, you can make it a scarf, you can do anything you want. And repeat and abuse this pattern as much as you want please don't distribute it freely that's all just point them to my website and they can download the files from there because then they can ask questions about my patterns and ask about the technique i love interlocking i started to do this a year ago i uh, loved lisa conley's patterns i love astrid's patterns Astrid Shandy, she's a great designer. She has lovely, lovely blankets. But blankets are a lot of work. I mean, it's... Uh, then you do this. Uh, it's like a two, three months project. These are, these are a project for a day, for a rainy afternoon. And you have a little present if you want to give it away. And blankets are not... So easy to give away because it hurts when people don't appreciate it. You know, it always does. Here, back. I did 23 in the back. And then it says the side stitch, inside side stitch, again at the back. You pull, you go to your back, you pull the loop there. You see these loops I need. These. It's a little bit tight. Yeah. And you do your double crochet in the back of your work see this is the front this is the back and your chain four again for the next row and i will come back for row three <laughs> 